And if you do have any questions, you'll have this little bar on the right-hand side of your screen. I'm sure most of you have used GoToMeeting before, but uh, a little house cleaning. If you have questions, you can type them in in the questions log down here. Um, you can uh, raise your hand, and we can unmute your phone at the end of the presentation so you can ask your question. But let's get started here. Um, Cross-selling life insurance. You know, we're here to help you expand your business. Uh, some topics we're going to discuss is cross-selling uh, cross sales scripts and ideas, uh, policy reviews, how to approach a policy review, and how to do one effectively. Uh, and we're also going to show you a couple new life uh, sales tools to help you grow your business and show you how to use some simple and quick life applications to keep you on the move. And if life insurance is not your primary market, or even if it is, it might be a new tool for you to help you uh, not get inundated with paperwork, but get the proper information you need in a quick, timely manner and be able to help your clients in other ways and move on to other cases. So I guess one of the main, one of the main uh, pieces here that I wanted to discuss is who are your clients? You know, we, we work with a lot of different agents here at URL. And uh, you know, some of you might be life insurance agents some of you may be health insurance agents, property and casualty agents, working in the business market with small groups, or working with seniors. So a lot of you have different clients. A lot of these sales ideas we're going to share with you today can effectively work with whatever marketplace you are working in. So why cross-sell? Well, if you're selling health insurance or health insurance to families, to small business, to home and auto insurance, other markets, you know, with the Affordable Care Act. Maybe that small business or group goes away. Maybe you lose that client uh, to that program. Maybe uh, home and auto. Maybe somebody gets a better deal uh, through those commercials. You know, 15 minutes a day can save you 15% on your auto insurance. At the end of the day, if you lose that health insurance sale, that auto or home sale, or that business, you still have your life insurance client. So that is the beauty of, of having a cross-sell opportunity. You may lose one, you might lose them for one piece, but maybe not for the other. So coming into it, uh, coming into the cross-sell ideas, LIMRA always puts out their Facts of Life study each and every year, right around September and Life Insurance Awareness Month. So we always take some of those key points and put together the good, the bad, and the ugly statistics of life insurance through the LIMRA uh, studies. So let's first look at the good. 50% of US households say they need more life insurance. So that's half the population saying they need more life insurance. 41% of recent shoppers say life events, like marriage, birth of children, adoption of children, buying a home, are motivating them to shop for additional life insurance. And then when life insurance is finally suggested, suggested if it's by an agent or by an advertising piece, 37% of the people surveyed shopped for life insurance. So when it's suggested by you or maybe by an advertising piece you're doing or they see on TV or something else, almost 4 out of 10 are taking the next step to at least shop and review rates. And of consumers who said they wanted to review their coverage or thought they may need more, half have shopped for life insurance. And lastly, you know, although we're living in a digital world, face-to-face -face is still the preferred method to buy. People still want to work with their local agents and buy from someone they trust who's local and they know. However, 86% of those people would use the internet to research prior to purchasing. You know, and I think that goes for anything. You know, we're living in a digital world. I prefer to shop and do business face to face, but I certainly do my research on the internet prior to making a large purchase, especially one of such financial concern as life insurance. People are going to do a little research. So, one of the tools we're going to provide today and get into later is 
obviously you still want to be that face-to-face -face agent and that person of contact, but we're also going to give you the back-end tool to uh, be that 86% using the Internet to research. We don't want them going away from you. We're going to give, that, give you a tool where it can connect right back to you. So let's look at the bad and the ugly. Um, the bad and the ugly. 30% of U.S. households have no life insurance at all. The average amount of coverage has declined by 30,000, which is now at 167 since 2004. So in 2004, uh, nine, almost 10 short years ago, people had close to $200,000 of life insurance on average. That is down $30,000. That number is going the wrong way. Of consumers who believe they need more life insurance, 86% haven't bought it because they think it's too expensive. Now the interesting fact on this is when those same consumers were asked how much they, they believed life insurance cost, they overestimated the cost by up to four times. So of the households saying they are likely to buy life insurance in the next 12 months, 35% say the reason is because no one has approached them about it. So of households saying they're likely to buy in the next 12 months, 35% of those households have not done anything because no one has approached them about it. So again, coming full circle, if we're helping them with home and auto, if we're helping them with their financial planning, we're helping them with health insurance. And right now with the Affordable Care Act, I know all of you in the health insurance market are reaching out to your clients, talking to your clients about their options. This is a perfect time to begin cross-selling life insurance and talking about life insurance. Now, I know it's not their primary need right now. They may be losing their health insurance coverage due to this, and they need to find new coverage and the best coverage, and you're doing everything in your power to help them with that. But it's a great time, end of the year, all these other moving parts happening. It's a great time to talk and do a policy review on life insurance with your clients. So the opportunity, consumers are underinsured and 50% of them know it. Consumers believe it costs more than it does, and 37% to 50% shop for life insurance when it's suggested, or their coverage is reviewed. So if you're suggesting it, you know, four out of 10, five out of 10 are gonna start shopping for life insurance. Pretty good numbers, especially when they're your own clients. And 35% of consumers likely to buy have not bought yet because they have not been approached. So they're waiting for someone to approach them. You know, people aren't just waiting at their doors for someone to tell them you need to buy life insurance. But when it's coming from a trusted source, there's a large majority of those people are going to listen to what you have to say and possibly purchase. And 30% of U.S. households have no life insurance, so there's a large market out there to begin talking to people about life insurance. And I know a lot of you say, I know how to cross-sell, and I know this, and I know that. I, I, I understand that. But what we're here to do is to give you some tools to do it more consistently. If you're consistent in your approach, you're going to get consistent results of sales. That's the bottom line. So we're going to focus on Hank here. Hank is a health insurance agent. I focus on health insurance for families and small groups. Lately, I've been busy at working helping my clients with the Affordable Care Act and how it will affect their small business or families' needs and health insurance. As an optimist, this has been a great time to reconnect with many of my clients. However, I feel I'm working extremely hard and not seeing the results of my hard work. What can I do? Well, here's the Jones family. Hi, we're the Jones family. We recently got word our health insurance plan is being canceled. We need to do something fast. I hear there's a new website that's still not working. Let's call Hank the health agent. So what we're here to do is capture that opportunity. And using a price-driven method, here's Hank's cross-sell. Part of my services to you as your health insurance agent is to provide you a checkup of your existing life insurance. This is not unlike a routine checkup with your doctor, dentist, or even an oil change for your car. However, this service I provide is a free service. Life checkups include reviewing your beneficiaries and seeing if the kind of life insurance you have is still the best fit for you and your family. I can possibly help save you money on your life insurance 
and or provide you more coverage for the same premiums you're currently paying. If I can't help you with lower premiums and better coverage, you'll have the peace of mind your family is well protected at a quality price. I only need a couple minutes of your time to get started. When is a good time I can review your coverage and see if I can help you save your family some money? That's less than a 60 second pitch of policy review or life checkup. People get a checkup with their dentist, with their doctor, get oil changes with their car. Part of being an insurance professional and working with your clients is doing an annual checkup or review on their needs for life insurance. So this easy price-driven method um, can help you with a very simple script to begin opening the conversation in the door for life insurance. Now, in the past year or two, we've had some developments in the life insurance industry. Uh, we're seeing more products with more benefits, and especially if you're working in um, health insurance markets or home and auto, you know, the benefits are selling the policies, obviously. It's the benefit of the additional, the additional benefits built into the plan. You know, life insurance is catching on. Besides, you know, the death benefit is not a real attractive thing to talk about, but everyone knows they need that life insurance benefit. Part of what we have now are living benefits on life insurance, um, including benefits like terminal illness, critical illness, and chronic illness. Terminal illness has been out there for a while. You know, if your client's likely to die in the next 12 months due to a terminal illness, they can accelerate 50, sometimes 75 percent of the death benefit. But the big ones now um, that are really moving these policies are the critical illness and chronic illness benefits. Critical illness benefits, if you're not familiar, are benefits like um, if your client has a heart attack, stroke, cancer, blindness, paralysis, they can take a large chunk of their life insurance benefit as a living benefit. And a chronic illness benefit is if they cannot perform two of six forms of daily activity. They can begin accelerating in many products up to 24% of the initial death benefit each year. Um, some companies and products will do it on an annual lump sum. Some will do it on a monthly. And two of six forms of daily activity sounds a lot like long-term care. Is it a long-term care policy? No. It's a chronic illness accelerated death benefit. But it can help with those same costs of home health care, nursing care, things of that nature. And you can combine them into one product through a life insurance plan. So price-driven method uh, on cross-selling is, hey, you have life insurance now. Let me review it. There's no cost to you. I can possibly save you money on your life insurance and or provide you more coverage for the same or less premiums than you're currently spending. If I can't do that, then you have the peace of mind that you're well protected at a great rate. I only need a couple minutes of your time. When's a good time I can review these plans for you? Living benefits method. So this is all about, you know, what we talked about five, six, seven, eight, nine years ago was the new kind of life insurance at that time was return a premium. So now the new kind of life insurance is the kind that offers living benefits. So Hank's approach now is, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, there's a new kind of life insurance that offers living benefits. This new life insurance can accelerate a portion of your life insurance benefit if you are diagnosed with a critical, chronic, or terminal illness. We have consumer brochures that explain it. You can hand it to them. If you get, if you get money from your life insurance policy, you will get money, excuse me, from your life insurance policy if you have a heart attack, a stroke, cancer, blindness, paralysis, or another critical illness. You can get money from your life insurance policy if you have a chronic illness and need nursing home care or home health care. This is very similar to long-term care. This new benefit can help with the mounting medical bills that occur during such events and will help relieve the large financial burden associated with having such a life event. This new benefit is especially beneficial in such uncertain times with health insurance policies. With a simple checkup, I can quote you life insurance coverage with these new living benefits and possibly lower your existing premiums. We have reviewed other clients' policies and been able not only to provide better coverage, but in some cases, lower their premiums. When is a good time I can call and review your coverage, see if I can help you save some premium, and give you these new living benefits. So same type of approach, but 
focusing on the critical chronic and terminal illness living benefits in the policy to spark the conversation. So what are the Joneses going to say? Well, there's a couple different options. Obviously, how about next week, same time? Or, no, we have good life insurance coverage through work. Or, no, our life insurance is okay. So if they are saying they have coverage through work, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Klein, I understand and respect you're happy with your existing life insurance through work, but most coverage through work is not transferable. If you leave your job, your coverage doesn't continue with you. Also, coverage through work does not have these very valuable benefits. Or, no thanks, our coverage is fine. Mr. and Mrs. Klein, I understand and respect you're happy with your existing life insurance. My reviewing your existing coverage will no way endanger your coverage. If you allow me to review your existing coverage, I can research my company, and I may be able to save you money and give you better coverage. This is a complimentary service I do for all my clients. Would you be open to me reviewing your current coverage and seeing if I can save you some money? Couple responses. Who doesn't like to save money? Sure, you can look at it. Or, we said no. <laughs> so, if no, I understand and respect your decision. And I thank you for being such good clients. Thank you for your time and continued business. I will continue to touch base with you from time to time on valuable services. We offer and assist in protecting your family's financial future and to help you save money. Thanks again. Take care. Oh, by the way, I do have a website quoting tool. If you ever want to go online on your own and see if the cost is compared to your current coverage, hand them your web address. Tell them you will email it to them in both. So a little thing at the end, oh, by the way, I've got a quoting tool for life insurance. You can go online, check it out at your own leisure, um, and see if you know, the rates are good and if uh, you can possibly save some money. You can hand them your card. You can put that on your card. Uh, you can email that link to them or uh, do whatever is necessary there. So obviously, if the Joneses say yes, what do we do? Well, we want to review their policy see if they have term or UL, what the benefits are, the rate class they were at, if they're smoker, non-smoker, preferred standard. You know, if it's term, how much longer is left on the term plan, what the benefits are in these plans. If UL, what's the cash value and surrender value? You know, and if they do have UL, what do you do now? If, you, if you're not familiar with working with uh, Universal Life, well, URL, we can coach you in this. You know, we can do the case design work. You get us the information, the quotes. We obviously have the sales scripts, uh, the people here to help you review these cases. So we're going to look at Mrs. Jones's policy quickly. This is a snapshot of, um, let's say, Kathy Jones here. This is um, not every UL annual statement looks the same, but here's uh, one of our uh, clients' annual statements um, they took out in January of 1990 when she was 29 years old. And she currently has $23,000 um, in surrender value, one hundred and two five of death benefit. And I'll, I'll blow this up so you can see this. So here we are. So I've highlighted some of the key pieces here. She's paying $61 a month. She has $102,500 death benefit, $22,000 um, of surrender value and cash accumulation. And then obviously we want to see how long this policy is going to last her. So currently, it's going to last her 37 years and 11 months based on guaranteed interest rates. On the current interest rate, it's going to last another six years, or actually about five years, one month, uh, 43 years and zero months based on current interest rates. And then if she paid no further premiums, it would last 27 and 29 years. 27 years on the guarantee, 29 years and eight months on the current interest rates and current cost of insurance. So what Matt and I do here is we take a look at that information, and we say, okay, here's the key information. Just kind of went through this. Okay, it's guaranteed to run to age 89 with, with premium payments. Current projections run at age 95. Guaranteed with no premium runs to age 79 and age 81 without premium. I think Kathy's policy is in pretty good shape compared to a lot of ULs we see right now. You know, when interest rates are very high, people are paying close to minimum premium. 
things were running great for a number of years, and then obviously the interest rates creeped down, cost of insurance went up, cash value goes down, and, and pretty soon clients get letters that they need to put more money into their policy. Kathy's not in that position at this point. So, you know, she's in pretty good shape, but we want to see if we can do a little better. And we're going to present her a couple options, or at least help you give her these options to present. So we would say, hey, you can stick with your old policy, and this is what you have. Or here's some new options that we're providing. You know, keep the premium the same, but we're going to provide you a larger death benefit and guarantee your policy to age 120. We're going to give you less premium and only pay for 10 years, give you the same death benefit and guarantee it to age 120, or we're going to give you zero premium and more death benefit. Now, these options also have some of these living benefits, which she didn't have on her existing policy. This has critical, obviously terminal illness, but also chronic and critical illness. So let's look. Um, Matt and I ran this through North American. We could run it through a number, number of our different carriers. Uh, for sake of comparison, we're running North American because they have these living benefits we're talking about, chronic and critical, as well as terminal. Um, and we're doing the Guarantee Builder Index UL. This policy has a guaranteed death benefit to age 120 if you run it that way. Um, the North American Custom Guarantee is on a fixed chassis guaranteed death benefit. The Guarantee Builder is on an index chassis guaranteed death benefit. Uh, so Guarantee Builder will build some cash where the Custom Guarantee here does not build much cash. Uh, and the difference in Pennsylvania is chronic illness, Critical illness are on the guarantee builder, but in Pennsylvania, in the custom guarantee, we only have the chronic illness accelerated benefit, not the critical illness accelerated benefit. Other states have both on this plan. So here's our existing plan, 1025, premium 6250, paid age 100, guaranteed 89, current to age 95. With the guarantee builder, we can give $161,000 death benefit for the same premium pay to the same period of time, but guarantee it to age 120 versus age 89, and give her a chronic illness benefit and a critical illness benefit on the policy. So obviously, like I said, her policy is in pretty good shape. If she's still healthy and at least a standard issue non-tobacco, we can increase her death benefit by 40, roughly $49,000, keep the same premium, and give her a guarantee period which she will never outlive and give her living benefits. So we gave her a second option and saying, okay, you want the same death benefit? Great, here's the same death benefit. We can lower your premium to $26 and change and you're only going to have to pay for 10 years and we still guarantee the death benefit forever and you get these great living benefits. And then you don't want to pay any more premiums? All right, in your existing plan, Kathy, we give you, you have a guaranteed age 79, current to age 81. Um, we're going to give you 114,000 versus 102, pay no premiums, and fully guarantee your coverage to age 120. And you get the chronic illness benefit here on this plan if you live in Pennsylvania. If you live outside of Pennsylvania, you get chronic and critical on this custom guarantee plan. So. Do you think Kathy will be happy with the review you did on her policy? You can possibly guarantee her coverage that will never lapse and save her $750 a year? Pretty good deal. So um, obviously, if you're out there talking about it and you run across some of these cases, Matt and I will do the busy work and the back, background work for you to help you present these type of cases to your clients. So this all sounds good, but quoting and selling life insurance takes so long. We get a lot of these objections from folks in health insurance and property and casualty in areas that uh, when you're not focusing on it. So what we want to do is give you those tools to succeed. Sales scripts, our quote engine, uh, which is a which we'll show you in just a minute here, and we have two-page life insurance applications with no client signature required to make it very easy. Um, we have our agent quote engine where you can go on our website and do all your own quoting that you want. We can provide you for $15 a month a direct-to-consumer quote tool and lead generator and your own microsite, which you can share with your client. 
And then obviously our website at URL has more than Quote Engine as app, app. You can get applications there, do online apps, short form apps, marketing materials, and a lot more. So let's kind of focus here on our consumer quoting tool and microsite for your client. So this is a snapshot of what your own life insurance website would look like. We would put your name up here. You could put your company name. You could put your agent agency name. You could put your logo up here. And on the right, you're going to have your phone number listed right here. And you're going to see home, process, life. Life has just a lot of information, drop-down menus that your clients can look at different videos and different things um, on life insurance through the Life Foundation. A needs analysis analyzer, so if they wanted to do a full needs analysis or you wanted to do it for your clients, you can do it right there on the website. And additional information. This is the banner ad for the quote tool. This is your, you know, your billboard uh, for, for the quoting tool. We're looking at Kathy here um, as a 42-year-old. 20-year, quarter-million-dollar term, female non-smoker. Uh, she puts in her phone number. She puts in her email address and completes this information, clicks to get a free quote. Um, so this, will, this website will generate leads for you. Clients can run their own quotes. We have, like I said, needs analysis. We have customized banner ads, $15 a month. And best yet, our website works. You know, it works, and it works very well. So Kathy's going to click to get a free quote. And this is what pops up. So Kathy, your name again will be right up here, not URL Insurance Group, and your phone number will be right here. Um, you can put your license number in there if you wish, and it's going to show her the top carriers. You get to customize which carriers she sees. So if you only want your clients to see two companies, and they are going to be Legal and General America, Banner Life Insurance, and Protective, you can just show those two companies. If you want to show 10 companies, you can show 10 companies. What's nice is it's a quarter million, 20 year. It shows you preferred plus through standard rate. And then if your client wants to change that amount, they can click on the drop-down menu check off 100,000, 300,000, half a million, a million, it'll pop up. If they want to change from a 20-year to a 30-year or to a 15-year, very simply, they just click on that and they get the new rate. They're getting the rates, and the good question is, what a question I get a lot is, okay, my, I have a client or a lead on my website, they're looking at rates, how do I know this? Well, you get an email from URL, that you have a client on your website. And this is that quote, Mrs. Jones. Here's her phone number, her email address, the amount she quoted, the length of term she quoted, her date of birth, state of Pennsylvania, monthly premiums, female non-smoker. Comes directly from me at URL. It comes in real time. So as she's on the website looking at the quotes, you get this. So you know Mrs. Jones, who may be a client of yours or a referral, she's on your website looking at quotes. And she's not on NetQuote or another quoting tool that people are paying $15 a month, $20 a month for a shared lead. This is coming directly to you. It's an exclusive lead through your quote tool. If she requested an application, all right, she can click on and do a short form put in some additional information, or click long form. Once she does that, you get a second email. She gets an email, excuse me, first, thanking her for taking the first step towards purchasing life insurance, that she'll be contacted by you to finish the process. You get an email with a link to what she completed to your back office. So there's your back office. Click on the link, you see Kathy Jones submitted an app. You can click edit and see all the information she completed. And that's right in your own back office with it. Next step is short form app process. You don't want to do a long form app. You can do that. You can do it on paper or online. So online, we have short form app processes through Banner, Gemworth, Protective, as well as 
I go drop ticket with multiple companies. And if you're not an online guy, we have paper too. This is banner snapshot of their two-page paper application. Very easy. You don't even need a signature. So here, our goal is to challenge you. Again, 50% of U.S. households say they need more life insurance. 35% of consumers likely to buy have not bought yet because they've not been approached. 30% of households, 35 million, have no life insurance coverage at all. And this is staggering, too. Compared to 22% in 2004, nine short years ago, we dropped off 8%. We're not doing our jobs out there talking to our clients about life insurance. And again, face-to-face -face is the preferred method to buy, but 86% will use the Internet to research prior to purchasing. So I would say if you have your own tool to help them do the research, you can capture their research, know what they're researching on your own website, rather than going off on Google and searching somewhere out in out on the internet and finding another agent to help them with their life insurance purchases. So the goal again, challenge you, think of 10 clients that you can do a policy review with, talk about life insurance. So use our simple scripts. You can call myself, you can call Matt here at URL to help you on the case design, underwriting questions and quotes. We'll give you the tools to present the case. And here's a snapshot. Average case size is $900. So commissions on a, just a 20-year term range, depending on product, approximately from about 85 to 105 percent, depending on the product and company, et cetera. So our question is, would you like to earn an extra $765 to $945 by helping your clients that you already know, that you're already working with? If you're new to URL, write down our website, urlinsgroup.com. Also write down the temporary username and temporary password to access our website. Both are case sensitive and lowercase letters. So urlinsgroup.com. Temporary username is insurance. Temporary password is producer. You just, on the home page, you would type in insurance and in the username producer and the password, click log on. That'll get you anywhere in the website you need to go. The only area you will, will be a little limited is my URL. My URL, when you are appointed with URL and writing business with us, you'll see case statuses in there. You'll see commissions for health insurance, Medicare markets, et cetera, in there, and other tools, your trip points for our convention we do every year. So, uh, But for new people to URL, you'll see uh, you'll be able to access our quote engine, You'll access um, our forms, our marketing materials, everything you kind of need to see to do business with us. And then if you're interested in getting appointed with URL with any carriers, obviously call, uh, call our marketing departments in each of our departments, whether it's annuity, health, life, or senior care, uh, for the products that, are, that will best fit your market. But um, we do list our licensing. You can do online or paper contracting. And if you clicked under departments or hovered under here, there'll be a drop-down menu for contracting. And then if you are interested in that tool, that direct consumer quote engine lead generator, write this address down. No www, but it's urlins.affiliate.aq2e.com. You can write that down. I'll keep this on the screen for a minute. Um, as you can see, we have a basically a 50% off offer on it for $15 a month for our producers. Um, if you wanted to learn more about it, this is the web address you would go to. And from here, you can try a demo and play with it yourself, play with the code engine, um, move around the website. You can view, view a video. The video will show you more on the quoting tool itself and the back office. And you saw ours. It had a picture of a young family. There's five or six different uh, snapshots uh, that would better um, maybe work with your client base. Young family, old retired couple, um, different pictures to depict the type of um, 
clients that you generally work with. So there's nice, different uh, picture banner ads for the quote tool. And if you don't want a picture on, on the quoting piece, um, it can just be a text version that you can color code. I mean, the, the combinations are endless on how you want to have that design. The other part of this quoting piece is if you want to do some marketing online, you can do that. We can create a, you can create and we can help you through your website a banner ad that you can put on someone else's website or blast via email. Um, once you're signed up, there's webinars twice a week on marketing this piece. So if you wanted to put an ad on a local newspaper's website or your local television station affiliate or something else where people go to um, on a daily basis where they will see your ad for life insurance and the quoting portal, they click on it and run their term quotes. Obviously, you get all the leads from that. And you can obviously try the demo, view the video, and view a sample microsite. And if you're interested in doing it, you can sign up for it and the quote engine will be yours. Um, you do have to be appointed with URL, so if you're not appointed yet, you can license with a couple companies or one or two companies, and you can have the quote portal uh, and be able to use that. So again, new to you, uh, if you are new to URL, um, you know we do a lot. Uh, we feel we try to give back to our agents and, and do a lot for you through our leaders conference. Uh, we've been doing that for 27 straight years for our top producing agents go to a lot of nice locations uh, for a thank you for your business. Uh, we do live trainings like this, either via webinar or in-house in all of our markets, whether it's life, health, annuity, um, or Medicare. Um, we do have lead programs for term, UL, mortgage protection, final expense. We do offer discounted E&O. Uh, our E&O is $150 a year. Um, it renewed November 1st. We do prorate it throughout the year, very low cost program very nice program for those of you doing business with us. Um, and locally in Hershey, uh, Harrisburg area, we have a suite at the Giant Center for Hershey Bears hockey games, concerts, and special events and more. And then obviously our technology, our agent, uh, easy agent website, our sm smartphone applications you can utilize with a lot of our partner companies, assistance in developing agent websites, social media presence, and how to market in a digital world. That we would call our partner reward. If you have any questions, you can contact Matt or myself um, with any questions at our toll-free number, 800-926-8875. My extension is 132. Matt's extension is 141. Both our emails are at URL insgroup.com, URL, insgroup.com. I'm Steve C. at URL, insgroup.com. Matt is Matt A. at URL, insgroup.com. Be happy to help you out, help you market life insurance to your existing clients. Now is a perfect time, being the end of the year, and especially if you're working with uh, in the health insurance markets now with what is going on. You have so many clients you're speaking to right now, assisting them with their health insurance needs a great time to present your other products that you have at your fingertips. We are going to get a list of everyone on this call today. What Matt and I are going to do um, in the next um, uh, 24 to 48 hours is we're going to send you all a thank you email with um, these life insurance cross-selling scripts, a link to the, uh, the new website, and just some additional information. So. Um, we'll get that out to you. Um, this presentation is recorded. It's too large to send out to people. I get that request a lot. So um, it, will, it is being recorded, so you can uh, go back and listen to it at your leisure if you want to. We will be providing the scripts. And another tool I'd like to leave you with from one of our partner insurance companies, this is a really great tool through North American Company, is uh, they started producing some very high-end, consumer-compliant approved videos. So I mentioned you might be in uh, the home and auto world, the health insurance world, uh, financial planning, um, or working business markets, or all of the above. Well, you know, one of the nice things is uh, on their website, um, you can access their different videos. So if you have 
just wanted to send them, you're talking about doing a policy review. Um, there's a policy review video. You can email directly to your client. You can email it right here. If you're talking about buy-sell to maybe your business clients, I don't know why that happened, but been off the website for a little while. But if you were going to uh, buy-sell, you can access the buy-sell piece and show it to your client. Say, this is what I'm talking about on buy-sell insurance. You don't have a buy-sell arrangement in, pl in place yet. This is why you need to look at it. Key person, executive bonus, college planning. Um, you know, we have ones for just understanding index universal life. So some very nice, useful tools. Again, when you're working on these type of sales ideas, um, we can help you with that and give you some more tools and ammunition for that particular sale. And again, our web address is urlinsgroup.com. Um, if you wanted to check out um, you know, the, uh, the quote engine, it's right there as well. And I'll see if I have any questions here. Um, looks like I do have a couple questions. I'll see if I can help you out with that. All right, looks like some folks are interested in the quote tool. Um, as you're signing up, thank you, Manny, as you're signing up, um, or your agents are signing up for that, uh, just contact Matt or I and Jim McDaniel. Uh, Jim McDaniel is our director of advertising. He can help with some more of the um, back office support on getting your agents signed up for that. Um, can I attach the micro link to my website is a great question from April. Um, you can. You can send a link to your microsite, but part of this um, process is you can actually build a banner ad for your website. And it's very easy to do. Um, so this is our microsite. Obviously, for URL Insurance Group, you would have one that would look very similar. But if you wanted to add it to your already existing um, website, it, it is fairly easy to do. I can quick show you um, how you can do that. You would log into your, oops, ah, log into your unique website. And maybe I'm putting in the wrong link here. Here we go. Okay, so this is the back office CRM within the quoting portal. Obviously, you have your microsite. Um, you can put your profile in here. Um, you can put a Facebook link on there, a Twitter link as well, if you're in social media. You can choose your companies that you want to show. You can put in your agent number if you want to. You can put in, again, licenses for any states you're appointed in. So you can show all 50 states. Um, so if you have people coming in from different states, you can show that. Or if you want to limit it to the states you are licensed in, obviously, you can do that as well. Um, the banner ad, as I said, you can pick your picture. So whatever picture you want, you can. this is to generate your, your banner ad, April. So if you wanted any one of these pictures, for your target market, that's great. You can pick any one of these, generate a banner, and you can choose the size as well. So if you wanted to choose a banner that was a long, long banner like that, or more of a um, billboard type ad like this, you can do that. You've created it. You take this script and put it into your website, and then you have put this banner ad onto your website for the quoting piece. Very, very easy process to use. Um, you can choose if they, once they do view the quote for a application, you can choose just a short form application information only or a long form where they complete a lot of medical history as well or a combo of the both. So that makes it nice as well. Um, very easy. 
as I said, we had uh, Kathy Jones um, submit, a, submit an application here. Um, so Kathy Jones, we go into the application portal. We see Kathy's, Kathy's information there. And now we can pull up all the information she completed in the application. Very easy process um, and very nice uh, tool to add to your, um, you know, to your marketing. Any comments on final expense? Uh, Philip, thank you for that. Um, on final expense, sure. You know, we have a very large uh, market on final expense. Um, if you go under life markets on our website, go under product information. We list our 12 different final expense carriers right here. Um, we also have a lead program for final expense, uh, which um, you can contact URL on for greater details. Our final expense carriers, we can help you from what is the best company rates for your state uh, to you know underwriting questions. You know who's the best for COPD? Um, who's your guarantee issue carrier? Gerber's our guarantee issue carrier. Uh, Transamerica's great with COPD. Forrester's is great on insulin diabetics. Oxford's just great level death benefit rate. We brought on a new company, Occidental Life. Occidental. Um, has a level graded and modified. We'll be doing a presentation in the coming weeks on them. Um, so we're very excited to add them to our um, core group of final expense carriers. Uh, you know, on the final expense markets, uh, we have sales scripts as well in that market. You know, if you're door knocking, booking appointments on the phone, um, you know, or booking you know booking appointments in person. However, you're doing it, and then once you're in the house what to do in the house. So we offer those tools as well. And uh, a lead program where you can use direct mail leads, telemarketed leads uh, in the final expense market. And I see that is about the extent of the uh, questions I have. I don't see any hands raised for anything additional. So. I truly appreciate all of your time today. We did go over our normal time. Uh, we usually try to keep these to a half hour. I apologize, but there is a lot to cover. And again, if you have any questions, you can reach out to Matt or myself. We'll be happy to help you out on your next life case. And um, we will be getting those policy review scripts to you via email. And uh, please use them. You know, I mean, if you're working with new clients, existing clients, uh, a 60-second commercial on life insurance isn't going to hurt. You know, people are waiting for, clients are waiting for an agent and trusted representative to ask them about it. And if you have the tools behind you, once you do ask that question here at URL to help you design that case, um, uh, we're going to win a lot more business and you're going to make a lot more sales. So we appreciate it. Um, for those of you in the health market, you know, Deb Wilkinson is working uh, you know, day and night on assisting our agents uh, on what is going on with health insurance. Deb and her team, you know, if you have questions there, we'll be able to assist you with that and help you with your health insurance clients. And for those of you in the Medicare markets with AEP right now, Vince Lani and his team are working very hard to process all that business and to help you with, uh, with open enrollment periods. So thank you for your business uh, on behalf of URL. We thank you. We look forward to a great year in 2014 and a good close to 2013. With that, I'll leave you. Thanks again, and have a great day.